Hi James, can you let me uh, know about the first um, AAC technology that you used? My experience with technology is interwoven with the release of my own voice on one hand and the feeling of being nothing but an empty void on the other. I discovered the essentials to communicate with the outside early, body and eye contact. My family moved from a farm in Kerry to the Central Remedial Clinic in Dublin, after watching a program showing children using wooden planks called Bliss Simple Boards. These planks contain hundreds of symbols on a white plastic sheet, towards which the user point at with his or eyes or fingers. I used the third finger of my right hand. The Bliss Simple Board could only operate in a one-way channel of communication. I can vividly remember one Monday when I was six, I was trying to tell my teacher that my family went to Salto for the previous weekend. Obviously there wasn't a simple for that town, Salto, in West Ireland, but I wrote through, indicating it was like a hyphenated word similar to the word, food, with the other word, you know. I felt such a rush. So that sort of was uh, reliant on other people knowing how to use the things you were using. Um, can you tell me what you moved on to next? The Spectrum ZX Expanded Keyboard was my first technological communication device. The computer was not portable. It had no stage output, but it broke the ice in relation to my written word. I started to submit academic work for the first time. And what did you move on to after that? Next came the Apple Cooey computer. Mm. There was a little object on top of the keyboard. Word prediction arrived on the scene, on software called the Mac Apple. This was a shortcut for me from writing out whole words. If I typed in one letter, Word menus were brought up, from which I selected the appropriate word. My learning continued to develop. And uh, James, can you tell me about the first voice output device that you used? The Touch Talker was my first laptop. I could talk now. It was the most compatible system for me. I used it for everything and anything, phrases, jokes, homework chatting up women in class, and so on, so on. When I entered mainstream education, the touch talker proved essential for my immigration. And so you were still using direct access to your finger at this point. Um, can you tell me why you moved on to using a switch? After my 15 minutes of fame, a rapid twist took hold of my spine. The intermediate certificate examination took me three whole months to complete on an IBM compatible. I stopped using my finger to restrain the scoliosis. I could save my information on disk, rather than running it off with speech on the touch talker. The chameleon followed the IBM. It was designed for switch access. The computer allowed me to use email and the internet for the first time. It was very liberating. I could avoid being dependent on people making calls for me and getting information generally. And what other technology do you use at the moment? And we come to my electric wheelchair. There is a scanning box on the table, with the pressing of my chin switch for control. Driving the chair is a tedious procedure. If I go on an uneven surface of any kind, the scan restricts my speed, because the selections don't allow for correction if the chair goes in an askew direction. Here is one of the communication scan grids. My PV scans the rows verbally and I'm not to select. All the nodules are on the first column down and the rest of the alphabet is on the other columns. It can also be portable, especially when it's memorized. It's not been used in years. I really should start using it again. Mm -hmm. So James, can you tell me what you're using now to access uh, communication on the future? And onto the light writer. It is a small, simple 
lamp need to ice, so it can be used in pubs and when I travel. However, I like left it gathering dust. I like tried sending it for repair in England many times, but they keep sending it back. Mm. At the current rate, I use a laptop computer with easy keys, it's switch access. One of my last jobs paid for it through Voss. Email, the net, and desktop publishing among other features are used for it. It's my so-called flexible friend. Last but not least we come to my Irish personal assistant communication system. He goes through the alphabet and I nod, but I use facial expressions for specific letters. It's used everywhere and anywhere. That's why I would rather rely on human resources, but technology makes me independent, despite all its malfunctions. Mm -hmm.